When people talk about Pochettino being ruthless, they quite often yeah. sort of single you out as as an example of him <laughs> yeah. him being ruthless yeah. is that you know is that fair i mean is you know people say oh he's he's got to deal with neymar well when he yeah. went to spurs you know i can't remember you didn't do a warm down and that was yeah. the end of that was the end of it is that a really oversimplified version of i think of that's events? an oversimplified version i think first and foremost he came in and any senior player that kind of would test his regime because like like we said before he was a young he was an inexperienced manager any a senior player that asked one or two questions and maybe didn't buy into the way he wanted to play. He got rid of, I think, of um, Aaron Lennon's Eunice Kabul, Emmanuel Adebayor. Got rid of them straight away. With myself, he gave me he gave me a few chances. Um, there was a few issues behind the scenes. Um, he gave me a few chances, and in the end, yeah, he did he did get rid of me ruthlessly. But that's part and parcel of football. Um, he doesn't take any crap. If you if you're on board, he loves you. If you're half on board, he'll give you a chance and he'll get rid of you. Sure. And do you like do you look back now and look back now and think I should have been all on board or were you half on board or or I don't know if these are rude questions, but I mean I'm asking them, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to regret things that you do in your youth. Yeah. Um I knew no better. I was young. I was selfish. I did not like we spoke about earlier. I didn't want to defend. I only wanted to attack. I didn't want to play in the number 10 role. I didn't want to come inside. I wanted to I was a touchline winger at the time. I liked to have the ball at my feet and take players on whereas it was a time where the game was evolving and the, the wingers were sort of just starting to move into that pocket inside uh, the number 10 position I couldn't get to grips with it but I was only young so I, so I needed time I needed age to learn and I think I've, I've grasped that now is it too late yes but we only learn with, with, with age that's really interesting it's interesting here you didn't want to cut inside like I'm in my mind I'm thinking <laughs> no, you know I, I wanted to cut inside but I didn't I always felt comfortable with, with a touchline, with my feet on the touchline. I didn't like to start into that inside pocket because I, I grew up, I grew up as an out and out winger, and right. that that position was sort of fading out the game, and I couldn't get my head around it. I just wanted to stay on the line and show the manager what I can do with the ball at my feet, as opposed to coming inside into the pocket. And, and how different is how different is that? I was sort of chatting to Jamie Har about this mm. last week. That you know the idea of playing on the wing and how you receive the ball and the number you, you've sort of got one one v one. Whereas if you're in the middle, it's a you know, the game changes so much and I think we probably don't appreciate yeah. that. The game has evolved so much since I first came in. Like I said, when I first came in, it was it was 1v1. If you didn't play well, your your left back got the better of you. If you didn't have a good game, it was the left back that had you in his pocket. But nowadays, if you don't have a game, have a good game, the left back's done a good job. The centre midfielder's done a good job. The left winger's done a good job. So I think it's more, it's more a team effort now as opposed to five, ten years ago. It was 1v1 battles all over the pitch.